Okay, this is going to be our last video on substitution, and it's going to focus on negative numbers. All right, so we're going to do a little reminder at the top, just so we're comfortable with negative numbers. We know if you have a plus and a negative together, that equals a negative. Okay, if you have a negative and a plus together, that also equals a negative. If you have a negative and a negative together, that equals a plus. And if you have a plus and a plus together, that obviously equals a plus as well. Okay. Also, for multiplying and dividing, if you have a plus times a plus, that'll equal a plus as well. If you have a plus times a negative, that equals a negative. If you have a plus divided by a plus, that'll equal a plus. And if you have a plus divided by a negative, that equals a negative. Okay then, with regards to these here, where the signs are different, plus times a negative equals a negative, if I was to say, what about a negative times a plus, well that still equals a negative, okay? You can switch these two round, they still equal a negative. The same with the division, plus divided by a minus is a minus, just as minus divided by a plus is also a minus, okay? So I'm gonna leave this box up here, as a nice little reminder for us as we go through. And we're going to have a go at the first one. P plus Q. Evaluate P plus Q. When P is equal to 9 and Q is equal to minus 4. All right then. Well, this is substitution still, remember. So we're going to substitute in. P we know is 9. Excuse my writing. Plus Q. Now Q is negative 4. I'm going to write this negative a little bit higher so you know that it means negative 4 and not take away okay it's a negative it's a symbol so it shows where this is on the number line okay so if I was to draw the number line down here with this being 0 and this being 4 and down here is negative 4 putting the sign a little bit higher shows that it means oh that's negative 4 it actually means it's down here it doesn't mean take away 4 it means negative 4, so it's down here. All right, then. So let's continue. So, Q plus negative 4. Well, hang on. We have got a plus and a negative there. Okay? So let's go to our reminder box. If you have a plus and a negative, that equals a negative. All right, then. So let's do that. Let's put it in. That really means 9 take away 4. So let me just reiterate what we did there. We substituted in. P is 9. Q is minus 4. We kept the operation the same. Okay. Then we had to think, right, what have we actually got here? We've got a plus and a negative. We went to our reminder box and saw that a plus and a negative becomes a negative. So when we write it down on the next level, we can just change these two signs into a negative. Okay. So 9 take away 4 is 5. Superb. All right then, let's have a go at another one just to make sure we're really, really comfortable with these. I'll do it in red this time. Let's have a go at P minus Q, using the same values. P is equal to 9 and Q is equal to minus 4. So let's substitute them in. P is 9. Take away negative 4. Take away negative 4. All right, then. Again, I've put the little negative sign up there so you don't get confused. OK, so we've got take away and a negative, a minus and a minus. What do we do? Let's go to our reminder box. A negative and a negative equals, ah, it becomes a plus. Okay, negative and negative becomes a plus. Brilliant. So let's just write that in. 9 plus 4. 9 plus 4, we know, is 13. Okay. Remember, always use, always use your reminder box. If you get confused, substitute it in below the line above. Just put it in and then go to your reminder box. Okay. Over time, you, these will become like second nature. But at the moment, keep going back to your reminder box. You should put this in your notes. It's really important. All right, then. Let's have a go at something else. I'll do it in black. What about Q divided by R? Now, we need to tell you what R is, don't we? Let's put R is equal to 2. Okay. So we're still going to use P is 9, Q is minus 4, and R is 2. But this says Q divided by R. All right, then. So let's substitute it in, as we always do. Q, we know, is negative 4 divided by R, which is 2. Okay, then. So we're saying 
minus divided by, what is this? Is this negative 2 or plus 2? It's plus 2, isn't it? Because there's no sign. If there's no sign there, that means it's positive. Because otherwise, we'd have to write plus in front of everything. Okay? So that's actually negative divided by a plus. Go to our reminder box. A negative divided by a plus. Remember, it doesn't, wait, mind, it doesn't matter which way round you put these. So a negative divided by a plus equals a negative. All right, then. So we know the answer is going to be negative. Superb. So what's 4 divided by 2? 4 divided by 2 is 2, isn't it? But remember, a minus divided by a plus is a minus. So we have to make sure that is negative 2. Okay? Remember, always use your, your reminder box. Let's have a go at this one. P S. Bottom of a letter, P S. But in this case, S is going to be negative 7. So, Let's substitute in, as we always do. P we know is 9. S is negative 7. Now hang about. What have we done here? There have been, there is, sorry, two letters next to each other in algebra. We know that that means they are multiplied by each other. Okay? So when we write them in number form, we have to put the times in there so we know. Otherwise it says, it looks really weird, doesn't it? 9, negative 7. That doesn't make sense. Alright then, so 9 times negative 7 and that is positive 9 or plus 9 times by negative 7 our reminder box a positive multiplied by a negative equals a negative okay so what's 9 times 7 That's 63 but remember we know that it's going to be a negative because a plus times by a negative is always a negative so we just put the negative symbol in there. And there's your answer. All right? Now, go through this video as many times as you need to become comfortable with it. And then I want you to have a go at the exercise that's on Edmodo. If you get stuck with anything, remember, post on Edmodo. Ask your classmates to see if anyone else is stuck on the same thing or if they have an answer to help you out. And if I, can, if I see lots of people stuck on the same thing, I'll post a little helping hand as well. All right? Have a go at that for me.